Each week we take time in our service to talk about generosity. How we can steward the resources that Jesus has blessed, blessed us with, our tithe and our offering. How we can use those to help fuel the mission that, that we have of being disciples that make disciples. And today I want to talk about something uh, that has nothing really to do with our church per se. If you've been watching the news, you're probably aware somewhat of what is happening in the country of, of Afghanistan. Uh, as the U.S. is phased out of, of being a presence there, how the Taliban has moved in and what that has meant for those uh, on the fringes, those that are in places of vulnerability, women and children, as well as Christians and, and those that were sympathetic or supportive of the U.S. And there is a, a massive uh, effort to try to get folks that, that are in kind of those, those vulnerable places to get them out of that country and into other places where they will be safe. And, and some of those refugees are coming right here into the U.S., in fact, coming right here into Seattle. So I just want to encourage us as we talk about it in the message today, in Jesus, we are missionaries. We're, we are sent. As the Father has sent Jesus, he's sending us. And so what does it mean for us to be sent to bless and to resource those that are coming into this country with really just the clothes on their back? And there are some great organizations right here in the Northwest that are doing phenomenal work. And we, we I just would encourage us to be thinking about how we can partner with them. And in fact, one really tangible way that I would love for you to talk about today in your home church is uh, care packages. And there are different types of, of tubs of supplies that you can put together to resource a family coming into this country. So again, this has this has nothing to do with our tithe and our offering necessarily as a church, but it again comes down to generosity and being a people that are generous. That is who Jesus has called us to be. And talking about generosity here at Oasis, there are different ways that you can give uh, to, to what God has called us to. The first is through our website www.oasishomechurch.com. Right there on that website, there is a tab titled Giving. If you click on that tab, it will take you to a page where you can set up secure either one-time or reoccurring gifts. Uh, and we just want to say thank you for those of you that are taking, taking advantage of that way of giving. But there are also other ways that you can give here at Oasis. You can mail your offering or tithe right here to the church, 520 South 150th Street, Emberian, 98148. We can receive that here. Or you can give today right there in your home church. And however way you want to do that, we just want to say thank you for your faithful giving. But let's take time to think too just beyond our church. And think about those that are coming into our city that are that are in places of need. And Jesus See, his encouragement was what? In, in, Ma in Matthew 25, he talked about when we serve those that are the least of these, we are serving him. So I would encourage you today to talk with your home church about how we can go above and beyond to be generous to those that are in need around us.